everybody, my name is Chris Sean Lugster, one book built for the Park News, and welcome to a trip preview. This is for the York Dungeon. Uh, this is for the opening of their brand new show, War of the Roses, The Bloody Battle. It opens uh, tomorrow on Saturday, 15th of February, 2020. Uh, first of all, please comment down below if you are going to be there. Uh, I did put up a poll a few days ago to see who's going to turn up. Uh, I haven't actually looked at the results of that poll yet, so uh, it is still going, so you can still, you know, collect if you're going or not. You can still click yes or no, or maybe. I'll put a maybe option in there. Uh, <laughs> hope you like the community stuff, by the way. It's a good way of keeping you guys interactive with me. Uh, so before we get started, big shout outs go to Coaster Mayhem, Cray Cray for Coasters, and also Thorax Changling. Now, if you want a shout out in our next video, please comment down below. I'll put a post out in the community as well to see who wants a shout out for a future video. And then, please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family, and on social media. Get your questions in for the Q&A when we hit 1,500 subscribers. Use hashtag question before or after your question. Now let's get into this trip preview. So this is the first trip preview of 2020. Obviously, opening day of the Alton Tower season, I'm sure it's going to be one. Um, you know, so you know, I can't wait for the opening day of Alton Towers. You know, it's going to be one of those big days of the season. Obviously, Tornado Springs opening day in May on the 5th. Uh, well, uh, it's scheduled to be public on the 19th of May, but apparently there's a VIP launch on the 15th of May, which I'm not going to say whether I'm invited or not. I'm not going to say it because I think it's strictly confidential. But if I was to be invited, I'd be going, hands down. It'd be brilliant. Um, but again, that's something I'm looking forward to. Obviously, from England, opening a brand new 10 looper, uh, rumored to be called Inversion. So uh, we don't know when that's going to open, but hopefully, we'll try and get down there for the opening day. Fingers crossed. Uh, so there's a lot of big plans we've got for this season. Uh, but one that's definitely happening is happening tomorrow, and that is York Dungeon uh, for the opening of their brand new show, War of the Roses, The Bloody Battle. So this is, um, like I spoke about in the past with this new show, it's set to be located, or rumoured to be located, on the old site of the Golden Fleece show, uh, which is like the, the pub, and you sort of get talked about with these kind of things. Now it seems like um, it's going to be two scenes in one room. I think they're going to be merging the stuff from the old Golden Fleece uh, after the War of the Roses stuff. I'm not too sure how it's going to work yet. I'll obviously tell you guys in my review on the vlog uh, on the day. But I think what we're looking at here is some kind of new part of the show. Uh, theme to the War of the Roses. So, you know, I think that this is going to be definitely uh, an interesting factor in the show. Obviously, it's going to be fantastic to get back into the other sections of the York Dungeon. Uh, they've got some fantastic sections in there. Curse of the Witch last year. Oh my goodness. Uh, that vlog, by the way, if you didn't know already, the Curse of the Witch opening day uh, vlog, where we got the Black Jester in, I talked about meeting Gemma from Coronation Street. Um, did the inter I included the interview as well as having it as a separate video with Ben, the marketing manager. That's got well over 3,000 views, which is unbelievable. Thank you guys so, so much for watching that. Um, so let's try, and, I'll tell you what, let's try and beat that. If you guys can get this, uh, the vlog from the opening day of the War of the Roses show above 3,000 views, then I'll release a video on uh, about, like, sort of like an hour after we hit that mark. Uh, so that's your goal. When the vlog goes up, get it up to more than 3,000 views. If you can get it up to 10,000, my God, that'd be fantastic. Um, so yeah, let's go on up. So for those of you who sort of missed that whole video where we sort of talked about the announcement of the show, let's talk about um, basically what's going to go down with this show, what's basically going to happen in this show. So here's some details for you, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about. The year is 1481 and there's a storm blowing. <laughs> now, for, now, fear it or not, there's rumours there's, there's going to be like loads of rainfall and a sto possible storm tomorrow. So, I mean, it's themed to the show, so I guess we'll take it. Um, you best get cover inside Taunton Hall. Though it looks pleasant, this is the site of a harrowing battle. Ooh. Uh, 20 years hence, the shadows of those slaughtered unfortunates still linger. Terrible memories seared into the stone. It's been said that the voices echo around the rooms, forever lingering in torment. Perhaps you'll hear them too. Keep your eyes peeled, because the damned can be restless. 
An old soldier sits in Taunton Hall, though the War of the Roses ranges on, he is haunted by a terrible battle from 20 years ago. Burdened by the memories, he invites you to hear his tale. It's a tale of two factions locked in a terrible cycle of violence and death. On that fateful day, thousands were slaughtered, staining these green and pleasant lands a deep and bloody red. Their corpses lie under the hall, their names lost to history, but the dead don't forget, and they have a message for you. Now this has a scare score of 4 out of 5, and it doesn't exactly tell us what this sort of experience includes, like whether it's got any strobe effects or anything like that, so unlike when we found out about the Curse of the Witch this time last year, um, you know, there wasn't this whole thing of like warning this contains strobe effects, so yeah, I, I, I think there won't be any strobe effects, but I like the keeping some of the stuff a secret, so what you will learn, why the Battle of Taunton changed the course of the war, how many people were slaughtered on the 29th of March 1461, and where the unquiet dead were buried, and I think that leads into the sort of show element of it. So, I am really excited for this, I really am, I can't wait to see how it's going to look. If it is set to be replacing entirely the Golden Fleece, uh, I know they've got one afterwards, which is like the York Ghosts, and they sort of talk about the, the same thing that they talk about in the Golden Fleece. Um, now, I don't know if they're sort of moving the Golden Fleece, or if it's been fully refurbished or replaced uh, to look like Townton Hall, but... I think we're looking at a possible replacement, and I think what they're going to do is, uh, well, from the sounds of it, this is just my thoughts and predictions before we head inside tomorrow. Um, I think what we're looking at here is the whole story around the Golden Fleece and the guy that came in and the sort of, the, the ghost still roams the pub. I think they're going to move that to, a, um, to next to it afterwards. Uh, and sort of talk about it in a different setting maybe, but still keep the projection. And then the whole Golden Fleece gets changed into Townsend Hall for this brand new show. So, again, I'm really excited. I really, really am. I think this is going to be a fantastic show. I'm expecting uh, possible projections, maybe. Um, the setting of the whole scene, hoping it's going to be nice. I'm hoping it's going to be nice and, um, you know, easy to see all the action, etc. I know with the Golden Fleece, I know that, um, obviously, you were standing the whole time. It was sort of in a very closed space and you had the... Basically, skip ahead a few seconds if you don't want to expose the golden footage just in case it stays. But, basically, you get this projection after he talks about this ghost and um, you get like a jet spray in the way he's supposed to exit. So, you know, it's it's a very it was, it was a very full-on show, but sort of standing up, especially for the little ones if you were standing at the back, you sort of couldn't see really the action, but you just get scared by the jet anyway. Uh, I'm hoping they keep that, by the way. I really hope they keep that jet spray ending. Um, it's like a, uh, not like a spray, but like it's like a jet of air that just goes, Psh, you know, and it just sort of sprays through the curtain as you go through into the next scene. So, again, really excited. Uh, they had, to, I, I've been in contact with your dungeon, and they told me that I will be able to interview Ben, who's the marketing manager, again. So I'll be bringing that vi as part of the vlog, but also I'll be bringing it as a separate interview as well. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. I can't wait to meet the guy again. He was great last time. He did keep secrets on any future projects. And of course, this is one of those future projects. So, um, you know, I, obviously this is this, this was unexpected for me. I, I really didn't expect this show. Uh, so, um, you know, I'd be excited to talk to him again. And sort of talk about the inspiration behind this particular show. Like I did last year with The Curse of the Witch. Um, and I think this is going to be overall just a great trip. If we see any celebrities while we're there, then fair enough, it's a bonus. Uh, <laughs> uh, but overall, I'm really excited. I'm expecting some good things. I know your dungeon can do fantastic things, but I'm expecting good things from this. So, um, you know, this is going to be a great, great show, and I think it's going to be a fantastic experience tomorrow. So, you probably, you, could, you guys are probably thinking, what's going to happen with the videos tomorrow? Are you going to bring it out in the afternoon when you come back? Uh, that is the plan. Um, before that, I may bring out an already pre-recorded and pre-edited video uh, before that or after that, depending on time. So um, it will probably come tomorrow on the day, on the actual day, on the afternoon of the day. But it's just a case of, you know, is there anything I want to bring out before that? Just to sort of build you up the suspense for the main video of the day. Uh, so uh, just stay tuned. Just stay tuned over all social media platforms. Um, so yeah, 
Thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park newsroom update from, well, theme park prediction, shall I say, this trip preview, uh, and my predictions, my thoughts, the news on what we knew already. But overall, it's a trip preview of the York Dungeons brand new show, uh, War of the Roses, The Bloody Battle. Obviously, I'll be rating it out of 10 when I get there, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see what the rating's going to be. But thank you very much, guys, for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Get your questions in, share the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. And for now, guys, keep on the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day.